According to a new study by researchers at the University of Pennsylvania, they scoured thousands of pictures that you posted on Twitter, and they found the way our pictures are lit and even our facial features could indicate our mental state and wellness. There was also another study that linked oversharing about your relationship really means you're insecure about it and you just need some validation. <laughs> what are we really trying to share? Clinical psychologist Judy Ho is with me on this. First, Judy, what do you make of this study? Do you think it would help you do your job? Well, I think that it's a helpful way to understand how social media is impacting our mental health and vice versa, because we know that there might be a bi-directional relationship here. Previous studies have shown that depressed people might be more willing to consume social media in passive ways, possibly sometimes post, but also sometimes we see studies that say social media consumption is what leads to a higher risk in depression. So this is maybe a way just to screen for a lot of people's general mental wellness at a given point, although of course this is not a substitute for a sure. real diagnosis. Of course, and all of this though leading up to possible artificial intelligence, that you could scan <laughs> some of these things and it would lead to maybe people like you intervening. Do you think that's possible? I mean, I hope that there's a way for us to get people into mental health care in a less stigmatizing way. Because right now, it still feels like a very formalized process. You've got to go and get a referral, then go to a mental health professional. You feel like you're marked when you walk into one of these buildings. And so perhaps this is the way to the future. If we can intervene at this level, that also maybe can help along the telecommunication aspect of therapy that we're seeing now, that people are sometimes getting therapy through the internet or on the phone, that they can do it in the privacy of their own home. And what do you think what's the line between just eh, I had a great weekend to one study saying if you post a lot of selfies you're a narcissist another saying if you post all <laughs> about your relationship it's actually really falling apart how do you know when it's just an innocent hey happy anniversary to the love of my life post or your marriage is falling apart yeah, I do think that some of these research studies are a little bit overreaching in terms of their conclusions, because what we can only tell is that if there's a true trend that kind of happens over and over again, then maybe that points to something. Just because you posted something about a fabulous vacation does not mean that you're a narcissist. And similarly, just because you posted a few pictures of yourself, that's more dimly lidded, more grayscale, maybe you're not smiling as this new study shows, doesn't mean that you're depressed forever. You might just be in a little bit of a mood and we all get into a funk sometimes. But to qualify for clinical depression, you have to meet a list of criteria for more days than not over a period of time that's at least several weeks. And so this is something that we really have to be careful for in terms of how we're utilizing this data. It does seem like those people that just post over and over and over again about their relationships, it really does seem like, what are you trying to prove? I mean, is that it? It's sort of how often you, you post something like that? Yeah, I think I, I think if you look at the person's feed overall and you see that certain themes are emerging, then maybe then you can say from this pattern it means something. So in a previous study, they did say that people who post a lot about their relationship, if it's a theme, it might mean that you're a little insecure about that relationship. Perhaps mm -hmm. you have lower self-esteem. But that would only be the case if maybe, let's say, 50% of your feed was all about your relationship and how wonderful it is and how you're staking claim over this other person. If you just post a couple of celebratory photos with your your significant other. I don't think there's a problem with that. Good thing mine's only once a year. Happy birthday to my husband. <laughs> right. Judy Ho, thank you so much. Always so good to have you. We appreciate it.